Tonight and Saturday, if you're in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, Will Durst is going to uh, the Durst case scenario performance. Uh, it'll be at the Chief Theater, 7 p.m., 813 Lincoln Avenue in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And for uh, tickets and information, you can go to Will Durst, W-I-L-L-D-U-R-S-T dot com. And uh, the aforementioned Will Durst, comedian, political satirist, and host of the Burst of Durst podcast, on the line with us. You can tweet him at Will Durst also. Hey, Will, welcome back to the program. It's been a while. Hey, Tom Hartman. How you doing? I'm well. So uh, so what what is, what is at the top of your mind right now? What 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 do you see as the as as the issues that 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 you're having uh, maybe fun is the wrong word, for, uh, but, but, you know, that, that you're working with in, in your in your activist cat comedy? Well, normally, I I uh, I kind of hit both sides. I, I'm a bipartisan basher, but uh, I've abandoned all pretense at being bipartisan now. So uh, the show that I'm doing is you become a complete Trump but, supporter. Uh, uh, no, uh, if, if you if you think uh, the guy in the Oval Office is a breath of fresh air, my show is not for you. Okay. It's it's hard it's hard keeping up though. It, it that's normally the political comedy landscape is is it's a horizon punctuated by spikes. But with this guy, it's all spikes. There's something new every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How how what is the uh, what is the dynamic in the in the industry, the, the, I, for lack of a better word, I, you know, I, uh, of of comedy? Uh, on, you know, how far you go, how far you don't go, where the boundaries are, how the boundaries have changed as a consequence of the Trump presidency. Um, how has your business, you know, altered as a consequence of this, you know, uh, one in a lifetime, apparently one in the history of the country president? Yeah, well, it, uh, the comedy clubs are not a good venue. Unless, unless you're extremely famous, like uh, Louis Black or, or David Tell or, or those people who, who are on television a lot, for uh, the, the comedy club audience, uh, it, it, I, I, I like theaters because people come to hear the words and uh, you don't have to follow giant genital jokes. And uh, the, so it's, it's a different... It's, it, for me, it's it's a brand new territory. You know, dealing with theaters, it's 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 wonderful. The people who come, it's almost like community. They're they're seeking some sort of catharsis. And I've actually had people come up after my show and say, "Thank you. I never thought I'd laugh again." It's almost it's almost therapy. Yeah, know? yeah, that's great. Do you ever get to Portland? Pardon? You ever get to Portland, Oregon? Uh, I love Portland. I'm looking for a theater because I'm doing I'm doing every Tuesday night at a theater in San Francisco. Then on the weekends, I take it out on the road. And yeah. I just came back from Milwaukee and uh, and Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, which was wonderful. Who knew the progressives in Door County? Oh, yeah. And well, there's I'm, progressives everywhere, Will. <laughs> I'm hip. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, hip. are you still doing that, sh that show or podcast with Willie Brown, with the, with the mayor, the former San Francisco mayor? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we do it like once a month, and we do it live uh, uh -huh. in in the little theater at the Marsh. So, he was. Uh, uh, it's been a couple of years since I've had him on the air, but he he was just sharp as a tack, and and uh, he's getting up there in years. But man, what a what a force! I mean, he's he's like a force of nature. He is, and in, in San Francisco, he's a, a civic jewel. He's eighty-two. And uh, he speaks without notes. He's blind as a bat. But uh, as you say, he's a force of nature. He, he writes a column. He's still lawyering. Uh, and any progressive event in San Francisco, you could always depend on, on Willie Brown to show up. Yeah. He had a morning show for about a year on uh, the ill-fated Air America. Yeah, I was, I was on that station. And, and uh, yeah, I, I remember it. I remember it well. So what what uh, what is it? What's coming up next for you? You've got this uh, gig this weekend in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Is this part of a national tour you're doing? You're traveling around the country. Yeah, I do every Tuesday at a place called the Marsh in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 
looking for theaters, uh, looking for one in Portland to do a little run, looking for one in Seattle, you know, any any bastion of progressive thought. Uh, we're, we're just uh, trying to get the word out because, as you say, this – this is a once in a while. I, I expected to go back to my boomer show because after after 2012, 2013, nobody wanted to hear politics. They were they were politicked out right. after, and uh, I thought the same thing was going to happen this year after Hillary was elected. Yeah, but it it certainly hasn't. It it has it has become a. Uh... It's become a zoo. It's just amazing. Will Durst, the legendary comedian, political satirist, host of the podcast Burst of Durst. His website, Will Durst, D-U-R-S-T dot com. You can tweet him at Will Durst. And uh, once again, if you're in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, tonight and tomorrow <laughs> night, uh, he'll be at the Chief Theater. Will, thanks a lot for dropping by. Thank you, Tom. Great talking with you. Keep up the, keep up the great work.